who are you? You know that you exist. But you imagine that this existence is because of the body. Something watches the body, watches the senses, aware of the, of the sharpness of the senses. It watches the feelings. It watches memory. It watches anticipation. It watches desire. It watches the beating of the heart. It watches the movement of the lungs. It watches the ability to perceive. It watches time. It watches space. What is it? Can it be watched? And by what can it be watched? So any phenomenon is going to come and go. That's the nature of perception. Nothing comes and stays. What watch is this? Where is your location? You see. So these kind of questions, the answers uh, from the mind are not going to be satisfactory. These type of questions result in revelation. Something is revealed, you see. The mind will leave this place and you ask, uh, what was it about the satsang? He says, I don't know actually. So don't think that you failed because of this. This is a very good sign actually. Because it is not a lecture. You are not being educated, you see. You are in a process of discovering something. And what you discover you cannot describe. You can only be. How are you going to explain this? Mind wants to explain. Beingness has no need to explain. It simply is.